cool things you didn't know about Target. Let's go. All right, check this out. This just blew my mind. So everyone has these biscuits at home somewhere or a variety of them. If you get these these bickies with the jagged edges, you just got to roll them across your cheese like that. And now you've got little pieces for yourself. Right guys, when you get a Toblerone, don't pull the end off like that. Put it upwards and push your thumb down on it like this. That way it breaks off better. I was today years old when I learned how to flip an egg without breaking it. How old were you when you realized you could turn off your microwave's alarm just by holding down the zero button? If you're ever making food at night, just hold down that zero button and you won't have to worry about waking your parents up again. Did you guys know that every key fob actually has an automated starter? All you do is hit the button twice, then hold. So guys, we bought this thing for our shower and I never noticed, but there's actually a hole at the bottom and it's for your conditioner and your shampoo to go into so you can have easy access. Okay, I just saw on TikTok the right way to use a strainer. So you know how people like put it in their sink and then they grab their boiling food and then pour, pour it out this way? No, let me show you how you do it. You take the strainer, you put it into the pot and then you pour it out this way. Y'all, this is genius! What? I never knew that. What? Did you, did you know that you could peel off your nail file board and you have a brand new nail file? The fuck, this? <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna try this thing that I saw on the ticket to talk. Macaroni and cheese. You cut the lid, the top off. You put the lid on here. Let's see if this works. Holy cow, it does work. <laughs> nice! Thanks, TikTok. I was today years old when I found out how this hole is supposed to work. Step one, make sure your foot is snug and create loops like this. Then weave your laces through the loops like this. Then pull to remove the slack, which helps lock your foot in place. Then complete your knot and you're off to the races. Mind blown. <laughs> So you guys, I'm sitting here with my boyfriend and tell me I'm not the only one that didn't know you could do this on your iPhone. You can just slide through the apps, almost like you're on your camera roll. I am shook. Most of you probably don't already know, but every rice cooker has a lid that you put on top of the rice. What the fuck? What? <laughs> For 29 years of using this shit. Instead of having the cap flap in the wind when you're putting on a burger or a hot dog, there is a lock to it. I fucking quit. Do you ever go to Academy and you say these things? Watch this. Ready? What? <laughs> Right guys, why am I only finding this out now? I can't open this jar. It's tight, really, really tight. So what I'm gonna do is go in the drawer, get myself a knife, be very careful with knives, people. On the top, give it a stab, straight down the middle, and watch, Bob's your uncle. It opens easy. You guys, my cleaning lady came today and she showed me something that I've never seen before. <sighs> I never would have thought to put that there, 
but it means that that doesn't get all gruddy. That is fucking genius. Adulting. Am I the only one that did not know that if you're out of staples, you could just turn your stapler over and there's a secret little compartment that you can put a whole row of extra staples in and then you can just conveniently put it into your stapler and uh, go on with your stapling. I was today years old when I realized this. What the fuck? Hey, so who else here is from Australia and loves Paddle Pop ice cream, right? Well, did you know that the rainbow Paddle Pop ice cream is actually caramel? I just found this out. I cannot believe that all of my life I've been pushing and turning these cap and twisting and struggling, not knowing that you're supposed to remove this top one off because there's a second one under it. All right, so you're supposed to push it up. I'm going to show you guys. You're supposed to take this top one off like this. And boom, there you have it. And it's supposed to keep this one and just do this. Okay, go. So you know how you, people usually just pull them out like this? Now there's an easy way. There's a little zip top thing right there. You just pull it. Awesome. Crazy dog. Impossible. Impossible! Brother. All right, we're gonna try the TikTok thing about opening your windows. So you go unlock, lock, and then you hold down the unlock button. Yeah, someone's- <gasps> it's No way! <laughs> this is not a joke. I was today years old. 35, almost 36, when my sister informed me that these are two different sizes, and so is this. I've always been playing the game of boom, 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 which way does it go? And there's actually a way that it's supposed to go. No wonder the outlets have a face on it that looks shocked, because they've lived with me for this long, not knowing, torturing them, torturing myself. Oh. My. God. Wow. Anybody else? If you have a smart TV that is slowing down and maybe the apps are crashing, the volume's not working, the TV turns off by itself, whatever, I'm gonna tell you what I just learned because I called Vizio and I have a Vizio smart TV. It's my first one I've ever had so I didn't know what to do when it started having technical issues. Some of you techie people out there will probably already know this, but for those of you who don't, just like your phone or tablet or computer, um, all of the history and like internet cache or whatever um, can build up on your TV because it is kind of basically like a computer. It's a smart TV. What you want to do is turn your TV off. You need to reboot it. Turn your TV off. Then you have to disconnect the power cord from the back of the TV itself. Find the power button. Hold the power button down for five seconds. Connect the power cord back to your TV. Turn it on and that should fix it. Okay, so whenever I was pregnant with my daughter, she's nine months old now, um, we would go to Hobby Lobby to get a lot of her decor because it was super cute and super cheap and I saw this. And I thought this was super cute because it went perfect with like all of the little wooden decor and things like that. And my husband was like, more you love, what the heck? And I was like, I don't know, it's just really cute and like, it's probably like, oh, like more you love, like more love to give. So after convincing my husband that we really need it, we just need it in our lives for her nursery. I sat here thinking whenever friends come to visit and they come to her nursery, they're going to see this and be like, what the heck is more you love? So I was sitting here trying to think of what the meaning behind this actually means. So then I was like, more you love, you know, like, like there's so much more to love about our daughter. <laughs> so 